you're at a point where you've done some research on insulated concrete forms, you like the idea, you have plans to build in the future. So how do I move forward? What's the price? How do I find a contractor? And how do I find a draftsman? Well, let's cover that right now. What you're gonna do is, first of all, go to nadura.com. They're gonna have forms to fill out so you can get in touch with a local rep local distributor, their website will have all of those things, and they'll also have training on how to install the ICF block in the system itself. Obviously cost is an important question to ask. In my experience, you shouldn't be more than 5% on your whole build to convert from traditional to full ICF. And if anyone tells you it's going to be more than that, it's either they're too afraid, they don't want to change their building processes, or they're just going to try to charge you a premium for the ICF product. When we do mention cost, you also have to keep in mind an ICF build versus conventional, you're not comparing apples to apples. And when we say 5%, an ICF house isn't just 5% more insulation or 5% stronger. We're actually 40% more R value, 60% more energy efficient, and by my own testing, up to 10 times more airtight, which that compounds into efficiency again. So. Do you want to spend a little more money for a far better superior product? You probably answered that already. And when you look around at a house, just use this as an example. The reason it's not a whole bunch more money is because the ICF is really only above the main floor, the exterior walls. Everything else is the same as you can see. I have a wood floor, wood walls, standard wood trusses. It's all very similar. For your plans, what I find is either have a set of plans drawn that are in traditional form and you wanna update that or change it to ICF. It's usually not that bad. The biggest, most critical is just changing the exterior wall thickness so that the client can see it and still be happy with the room sizes and make adjustments from there. Now, in my experience, because I know how I'm gonna build the house, I don't need every detail. If you're a builder that just hires everything else out, you're going to need a little more information like elevations and fl floor thicknesses, stuff like that. Now let's find you the right contractor. A good method is to ask your local distributor. They really do know who's the better and who's the best, who's not, and who's worth the cut. Obviously we can't answer all your questions in one video. That's why there's resources like nadura.com. I'm Cody with Up to Code. Make sure to ask us some questions, leave some comments, click the link in the description. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.